Right, so this is the last part, the fourth part of this lecture. So I'm going to discuss the uh, three different ideas of, uh, of Jung's system, personality theory. Uh, the first one would be I'm going to discuss the development of a person, uh, the development of our personality. The second would be the idea of healthy personality, and the last part would be how assessing, how to assess our personality, how to evaluate our personality in the eyes of uh, Jung system. Yeah, Jung system. Um, um, how personality develops. Uh, the idea of the idea that Jung proposed is completely different from Freud's. Um, Freud place, placed a great importance to childhood uh, era, childhood period, as the most important and uh, most influential era that, uh, shaped our, that shapes our personality. But Jung uh, gave, it, uh, gave uh, the, middle, uh, the middle age as the most important yeah, era in uh, informing our person personality because in that era we have been successful yeah we have been successful in integrating all aspects and all system of our personality so jung described uh, three different stages of how our personality develops so the first um, stage is the childhood this is where we develop our ego yeah and we try to distinguish between the existence of our uh, ourselves yeah between we try to distinguish our existence that is separated from others existence and the second part of uh, of human personality would be the poverty the the adolescence to adulthood to young adulthood and this is where we adapt yeah we adapt to the uh, completely new demand and challenge um, of reality by we try to focus our effort, our uh, attention to education, to pursue a career and to to form a family. And this is the this is where the conscious process is very dominant because of course if you um, because this is where the conscious process is extremely dominant. Yeah. Um, and the last part would be the last stage of our lives is the middle age. This is where we try to integrate all system in our personality. And when and this in this era in this stage, we um, we try to shift the focus on the from the external from the conscious world to the internal and unconscious world. So in this, this is where we try to balance all system because we have more awareness to ourselves. We have known ourselves longer so that we could um, uh, we could um, imply that uh, in this stage people have developed more knowledge about themselves. Yeah, so they know uh, their weaknesses, their strengths. So they would. Uh, be more easily to it would be more easily for them to integrate their personality and the idea of healthy personality this is this this actually this never uh, came uh, this never crossed uh, Freud's mind because in Freud's mind is that everyone is sick mentally yeah so he described everyone as if everyone is sick mentally so this is also a deviation from uh, from Freud yeah theory from Freud's theory, uh, because Jung would say that there is a way, yeah, for people to be healthy, yeah, to be uh, to be basically normal, yeah, be, to 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 grow as a normal person. And in order to obtain a normal personality, uh, someone should have should fulfill it by uh, should fulfill it through individuation processes and there are different ways different strategies to reach the individu uh, individuation so individuation is basically uh, a situation where an individual has a full has fulfilled their capacity and their selves has been quite developed and there are several stages again the, there are the, uh, several stages and different processes that need to be done need to be go through before uh, we finally could reach this self-fulfillment. So the first one would be confronting the unconscious. So this is the hardest one. 
um, so basically we have to uh, accommodate yeah and we have to admit that we have this unconscious wishes and try to balance it with our conscious processes and we don't have to repeatedly repress or deny our unconscious wishes but again we need to accommodate it into the reality and balance it with our conscious uh, with our conscious experience and the second one would be the throne the persona uh, this is the uh, realization where uh, people then recognize that the persona is not the true or the real part of their selves and accept the genuine selves accept who you are by admitting that something that the, the persona has been covering um, we accept that uncondition unconditionally yeah so accepting the genuine self that the persona has been covering so far and the next part would be accepting the dark side this is not um, this is, it does not mean it does not necessarily means that we would embrace it like you know give it the admittance into the uh, conscious processes but because again the uh, the very key to reach healthy personality is the balance of all system so we don't want that our dark side to disrupt and uh, and be and become too dominant in our personality system but repressing it denying it would be unhealthy too yeah so uh that uh, we in this case yeah in this case we would give a greater awareness that of course we have this destructive and also constructive aspect of ourselves and embracing the darker the darkest uh, part of our uh, personality would give us a comprehensive a more comprehensive picture of our personality and it also gives us a spontaneity and creativity and emotion that we need to fulfill our life. And the next part would be accepting our anima and animus. Yeah. So it will also a source of creativity and it will it also make us a better human being. For example, if you are a man, then if you embrace the feminine part of your personality you would be a you'd, you would become a better parent it means that you would embrace the side of your nurturing side you will become a better parent, better better father than if if you choose to repress that feminine side of your personality or maybe if you are a woman a woman then you would become more um survive uh, not survive you become more stronger i would say and more um um adaptable yeah by embracing the masculine side of of your personality so repressing it would give you no good but um overpowering or give it more dominant in your conscious process would give you problems too and the last stages the last part of the last strategy is transcending yeah or integrating the whole unity yeah a uh, whole system of our personality into one the wholeness the unity and wholeness so this is the beautiful contradiction yeah again uh, even though we have different systems in our personality and it would interrelated to one another we would seek again we would seek the tendency to reach uh, equilibrium or balance or unity or integration or harmony yeah, within those opposing desires yeah and um some environmental hindrance yeah, in our lives would give us problems in reaching this integration for example if you have unsatisfactory marriage or frustrating job it would inhibit the processes but it doesn't mean that you are not possible to reach this of course it's still possible for you to integrate the whole system in your personality but it would give you uh, more problems more challenge here yeah, to do it the last part of our of my lecture here i'm going to give you a brief explanation of one personality very popular personality test that based on jung's theory yeah so i have mentioned earlier about the idea of 
uh, personality types according to Jung. Uh, someone then decided to make a personality test from this theory. Yeah. So uh, there was a, there is a very popular personality assessment uh, that we call the Myers Briggs Type Indicator or MBTI. Uh, the chance of you uh, being exposed to this personality assessment is very high when you apply for a job or applying for I don't know. Um, as a tools of counseling uh, for uh, when you see a therapist would be very high, especially in Indonesia. This is quite popular. Uh, but again, uh, existing uh, psychological research evidence would give you completely otherwise. Yeah. So this, uh, even some psychologists would say, a research psychologist would give a very strong opinion about this. Uh, personality assessment uh, basically some people would say this test is a bullshit so you <laughs> don't believe you can't believe anything that this test would tell you about uh, so this is very popular and it was developed by uh, Catherine Cooks, Cook Briggs and Isabel Briggs Myers um, so this is a mom and daughter and had no formal training yeah in psychology so that's the surprising side yeah um, they had no formal training in psychology or psychometrics uh, where it is required for someone when they made when they make a personality test because if you if you if you make a personality test then you would uh, want to uh, to conclude you would want to know whether your uh, whether your test is actually miserous personality, not miserous any other constructs in psychology. And you also want to give people consistent result because the idea of personality is that even though it could be changed, it's predominantly, profoundly consistent, right? So if you test people, the same, the very same people twice, yeah, you would give them consistent, not similar, but consistent result. So it's not possible, it's not logical if a test would give you completely different results when you test people in the second time, yeah? Um, so what is the problem with this MBTI tests? Uh, the problem would lies in their psychometric properties. So the questions on validity, yeah? Whether it is actually measuring personality, not measures any other constructs. And the idea of reliability, so both of those uh, profound psychometrics uh, properties, assumption, yeah, this assumption are not violated, are not fulfilled. So those two are viol separately violated. Yeah. So you cannot trust a personality test that is not valid and that is not reliable. Yeah. And the second critic would be it's it is excessively commercial so unnecessarily commercial um the makeup of these tests they basically create for money so they would uh, they would uh, make you pay for anything yes yeah? so even uh, you can find it easily the free version of these tests it's actually not the the original version of the tests and they have like several different version of their tests in which each version would give you different price, yeah. So it's excessively commercial. So it's completely different from the uh, from the uh, from the value from the academic value where people would value uh, modesty, yeah, and humility. So if it's excessively commercial, then you should be very suspicious about it. So that would be the end of uh, of my lecture. Um, thank you very much for uh, for listening. And again, if you have any questions, you can always ask uh, on the Google Sheets. So thank you. So have you have? I, I hope that you have a, a very good day.